baby one. These are the grown up ones. These baby ones. Today, I'm taking you along with me to do some cleaning and then decorating for fall because it is officially that time of year. I'm way more excited for the decorating than I am the cleaning. So I'm going back into the depths of the, our storage situation here in our new house to find my fall decor. So, someday this will be a guest room, um, but I have holiday decorations here, and I believe this one is my fall decorations. I'm hoping a pumpkin spiced scented candle will motivate me to do the cleaning that I have been barely maintaining all summer. Along the way, I'm going to be sharing my tips for decorating for fall in a minimalist way that's still cozy. <coughs> my very first tip is to use what you have. Especially before you do any shopping, make sure you look through the fall decor that you already have and that you're actually using it all. If there's things in here that you don't like anymore, now is the time to declutter. This is definitely the most chaotic room of our new house because our attic is through here and our basement is damp and we have not insulated the attic yet. Look how tiny this door is. So it's all gotta go in there for now, but motivated with the smells of pumpkin spice, I think. I'm ready to tackle the cleaning and you guys will get your first maybe sneak peek of our new house and how far we've come in the last six months of renovating. Okay, so I got out one tote of decorations, fall decorations, but I'm pretty sure in this very bottom one is my hay pumpkin rug. And I really want that rug out. And I'm pretty sure my fall wreath is in there. And that looks like a pine scented candle. So I got to move all of this stuff <laughs> to get to it. This is a perfect example of why a stack of toads is not very good or practical. Because you always need what's on the bottom. While I try to get to the bottom tote, it's a great time to share my second tip for decorating for fall, and that is to take things away instead of just adding. So if you pile your fall decor onto your normal everyday decor, it can start to feel really cluttered. But if you actually simplify first and take things away and then replace them with the fall decor, it looks more intentional and a lot less cluttered. This probably goes without saying, but you really should clean before you decorate so you have a clean surface you're working with and you're starting with a fresh slate. Now cleaning is not necessarily the same as putting things away. So a lot of these things in the kitchen don't belong in here, so I'm not necessarily taking care of all the paperwork or unpacking that box, but I am moving it closer to where it needs to go. I just painted this door and I realized I don't have a wreath hanger. So, command hook it is.
My third tip for decorating minimalistly but also cozy is to really concentrate on that cozy aspect. What things really say fall to you? Think about your five senses. What smells do you want? What textures do you want a warm, cozy knitted blanket or a furry blanket? So you're creating more of a cozy fall atmosphere and you can focus less on the actual decor. Okay, this room, we don't have our blue velvet couch over here yet. It's still at our other house. And we have all of this extra stuff for the kitchen and some extra flooring. So I'm not gonna worry about this room yet. And those are all boxes of books that we need a bookshop for. And I have two fireplace mantles. But anyway, I'm gonna skip this room for now. And I'm gonna focus on the stairs. And then the upstairs. came downstairs to find pumpkins arranged. I don't know if this is the work of Edison or Brian. It's very sweet. <clears throat> I was a bit discouraged yesterday because I did not even finish all the cleaning, much less get to the decorating. This house is bigger <laughs> than the last one and it takes a lot more time to clean and it's a lot more work. So. That definitely cheered me up today. Did you see that one? Yes, I did. That was the first one I saw. And then I put those two and that one and those two over there. Very nice. I brought all I could carry them here. Very nice. I think we're going to need more pumpkins. This house is a lot bigger. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to need a lot more pumpkins. <laughs> The shark heads are going to fall out the bottom. This is going to be so much fun. I can't mm. wait for pumpkins. Yeah. Could you take this to the kitchen for me? I want to read a book. Oh, okay. This has the soft scent of Halloween in it. Balance it out. Boo! I'm gonna take matters into my own hands. Boo! They got sticky pants. Yeah, the baby one. These are the grown up ones. Here's baby one. No, it's just smaller. It is Dad! During one of our yeah. bonfires this summer? Yeah, we saw a bat. The first bat of the night. My fourth tip for decorating for fall in a minimalist way is to make use of nature. Use nature and natural elements in your decorating, like these sunflowers that I got from my in-law's house and these wildflowers that I picked. Also, I love using real pumpkins. You can eat them, you can ro make roasted pumpkin seeds, you can compost them or even feed them to the squirrels and deer and then you don't have to store them for all of the other months of the year. Fall is the perfect time to put your harvest on display, whether that's flowers or tomatoes or little mini pumpkins. 
whether you grew it yourself or you just bought it. I'm just realizing that the faux stems that a lot of influencers have been posting on Instagram for fall decor and that I've been eyeing on Amazon look very, very similar to this tree bush thing that I have growing in my front yard. <laughs> These are plum branches and while they won't last all that long before they'll start wilting and dropping their leaves, I can always get some more and it's nice that I don't have to store them year round. My final tip is to shop your own house. So this cozy blanket is usually in my bedroom, but for fall, it has this nice rust orange color. And so I'm just putting it in the living room as another cozy option downstairs. And it looks very autumnal down here. This part of the couch just belongs to Legos now. I think Sirius approves. Let me know which of these five tips was your favorite in the comments down below. Soon I'll be sharing the upstairs as I clean and decorate the bedrooms. So subscribe if you're not already so you don't miss the next video.